Hello and welcome to Hometown Hero. I apologise for the lack of video on Friday, uh, and there's a fair chance that this might not make it out till Tuesday, although I'll try and try and get it out on Monday. So if it does come out on Tuesday, apologies for that too. I don't know what is going on, but we keep winning. We've won five of our last six games. We've only lost one in eight. I've... <sighs> They're not even gimme games either. They're against teams, you know, first, third, fifth. You know, a couple of cup games thrown in as well that's got us into the fourth qualifying round. I, I mean, it, everything is really going well. So since we were last here when we drew 2-2 with Wilsdon, we beat St. Albans 1-0. Semo Ramadan scoring in that one. We beat Gosport 3-1, Ashley Pope and Eze getting two. Then we had Deal in the cup. We won 2-1, coming down from 1-0 behind. Then we lost 2-0 to Maidenhead. They were second, I believe, at the time. Then we beat Truro in the cup. Again, I believe we were 2-1 down in that one as well. So we came back with two goals in three minutes. And we've just beaten Bromley 2-1. Semo Ramadan has scored in his last, in six of his last eight games. He's got six goals in the league, which is not bad. And I'm hoping he can continue that form all the way through the season. And as we can see, somehow we are third. And there we go. St. Albums were first. Maidenhead who beat us was second. Uh, haven't we've got today a sixth. Maidstone, I think we beat. I think we've beaten Maidstone. But the teams that we were beating are in and around us. It's just, I just genuinely cannot believe what is going on. We've got Macclesfield in the fourth qualifying round. And that might be a familiar name because they're in the north, uh, the Vanarama National League North. And they beat us last year in the FA Trophy qualifying round. So we're going out for a little bit of revenge today. But first, we've got our league game against Havant and Waterlooville today. Like I said, they're sixth in the league. We're third currently somehow. This is the team we're going with. So we've got Sharp, O'Connor, Cole and Van are the back three. Doughty is playing on the left today. George, I'm a right back. Butler playing on the right. Murray and Holland are our midfield too. Foster in the uh, attacking playmaker. And Pope and Ramadan are the forwards. I can see Havant and Waterlooville edging this game. It'll be tough and Fleet won't roll over, but the Hawks get my vote. He's a bit of a weird name. I wonder if Whitehawk are happy with uh, another team being called the Hawks. Uh, Whitehawk better be called the Hawks because that would be astounding if they're not. Uh, what are they playing? They're playing a diamond. Okay, it's, that's a thing. That's a thing that occurs. We're going to go out here with the underdogs. Nope, maybe I should have gone passionately. They like the old calm. I have faith, though. That's the one that gets them. And then we go. Uh, playing in the blue. That's uh, having a Waterlooville playing white and gold. That's pretty fancy. Very posh looking. They look like the Power Ranger from the original TV show. Tommy, I believe, was his name. Uh, original Green Ranger, too. And then went on to be both a red and a black ranger. Just for anybody who's uh, curious about their Power Ranger history. I believe he's the only one to show up in four series of the show. Barker is in through the top. Van cuts it out expertly. Bit of a bit of a short pass back to Sharp. But he's he's on the ball. And Foster steps in front of whoever that defender was. Sends it into Ramadan. He's got Pope in the middle. Pope straight away. Five minutes in. And that's a good save by Parks. But we've ripped him to pieces within five minutes. And this is a good start. Of course, though, Sema Ramadan is not in the box for the corner. We've gone for the short one. That's embarrassing. Now we're... Oh, he's got the cross in. But Parks claims it. Oh, that's not... That wasn't ideal. But it's a good save by Parks originally. Keep forgetting to bloody change Ramadan off the corner. Uh, seven minutes in, still very little happening. All right, so ten minutes in. Uh, we've still only had the one shot. Fifteen minutes in, one shot on target. That's for us. They've had two off target. We've hit, we've had one clear cut chance, that one for Pope. They're having a lot of possession. Let's, let's close him down. 36 minutes in. This always seems to happen in the games we watch. I do really well off screen. And then I come on and we fall to pieces. Good tackle by Doughty. Where can he go with it now though? 
Oh, gets it blocked, but it's a good pass back to O'Connor, and he breaks up to Foster. And Foster's going to go long. He's going to send in Ramadan down the channel. What can Semmel do with it? He goes low. Pope is there. That is it. That's Semmel Ramadan's fourth assist of the season as well. When he's not scoring, he's making. And that's Ashley Pope's, I believe, fourth goal of the season now. Not bad for the striker that didn't play the first few games. He's displaced Danny Clifton, who still is on the bench and is still a good option, but he's just... Ashley Pope is just picking up. He's just playing very well, is where I was really going with that sentence. Let's have more of the same after the restart. Let's keep going. Let's keep chugging along. Keep on chugging. Keep on chugging. Okay. George, I'm the right back. Butler steps on the ball. And Holland. Oh, excuse me. Shit. Sorry. Holland has taken over Danny Clifton's uh, job of running the ball out to the sideline. Oh, that's a good header. It's flicked off the bar and he's offside. Mark Rio is offside. The header came in. Rio stood in an offside position. Knocks it on. It comes off the bar, but he's offside anyway. Still 1-0 up. I'm going to take off Pope as well because he's booked. I'm going to put Danny Clifton on. Nobody playing particularly well. And we're still picking up results. That's just how we seem to be doing things right now. Is anybody playing well? Pat O'Connor's not having a good game either, so I may well take him off. Although, I need to be careful about Van too. This is I've had two sendings off in like the last two or three games, so not ideal. 70 minutes gone. Come on. They've had, they've had eight shots and none of them have been on target. There we go. There's their first shot on target. It took nearly to the 80th minute to do so. They have hit the woodwork. So we've got to give them that. Man, they are really pouring forward sharp with the goal kick. It goes short to Van. That's an interesting one as well. Van's going to go long. Gets cut out though. He tries to go to Clifton. That's just going to come straight in. Cole gets the header out. But it's only out to Harris. Who goes long. No way does that. Sharp. What is that? What? Why does this keep happening? It happened to us in the final. In the uh, the cup final as well. How does someone rocket that in from there? He must be 35 yards out. I mean, Sharp does shit. He really shits the bed. But look at the look at that shot. Look at that. Who shoots from there? Unbelievable. Just un and he gets off freaking highest rating as well. Yeah, we don't get a chance to shoot from there. Bloody hell. Okay, we'll, we'll take the 1-1. One, one. At least it's not a defeat. See you next game. So here we are, ready for game number two. The Revenge against Macclesfield. This year, it's in the FA Cup. Last year, it was in the FA Trophy. Our team is pretty similar. We're going to play Murray in midfield instead of... McKenna, I believe, played their last game. So Murray's coming in. Eze is coming in for Foster in the attacking playmaker role as well. Let's just get straight into it. I fancy Macclesfield to win this one. They should have enough quality to see off the threat of Fleet. Well, they did last year. We've improved a lot since then, though, but they're going to play a 4 4 2. Boring. Uh, I'm going to go with an assertive. We owe Macclesfield. Yeah, a few of them like it. That's what we're going to do. We're gonna we're gonna pay them back with blood. All right. Pretty pretty big home crowd here. Oh, weirdly, I would have I would have expected to see more blue. No 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 replica shirts for the home team sold at all. Apparently, they do, however, like varying shades of grey. I thought George Armour right back Butler might get in there. Man, this is actually the opening highlight. This never happens. That's got to be a foul, surely. Of course it is. Simpson, naughty foul that early in the game. 
All right. All righty then. 11 minutes in. Fuck all has happened. Ah, okay. They're playing a guy with 66% condition. Our lowest is 87. So we're a little bit more... We're a little bit better. Look at them. Look at them. God damn it. 28 minutes in. There's only been three shots in the game and none of them have been on target. What is even going on here? <laughs> 41 minutes in. Four shots on target for myself. Now two... Uh, four shots, sorry. Two on target. They've had five shots, one on target. No woodworks for anybody. I've had a half chance and lots of the possession. But that doesn't matter if we don't score any goals, is it? Passionate, keep it up. Yes, I'm just going to go with that. They like that. Let's not mess with it too much. Oh, they're playing the old, the old one-touch football. Goes nowhere, obviously. Pat O'Connor has made a lot of mistakes today. That's not what we want to see. Oh, they've kicked it straight to me. Can Doughty get on that? Doughty heads it to himself and breaks off down the left wing. Oh, he skips past a terrible tackle. Does he? He gets a cross in and it cannons back off the, the own defensive player and out to Simpson, who immediately attempts to run the ball off the pitch. He manages to keep it on and now the striker is playing right wing back. Oh, they're playing some sneaky one-touch football, but it comes back to Cole, who just hammers it up the field. That's it. Play it into the left corner. Let Ramadan just do all of the work. Cowan is going backwards. It's cut out by Holland, who is also then going to cut out. This is some absolutely top quality level football here. Holland into Pope. Oh, that's a dangerous sliding tackle, but Eze's got it. He goes back to Holland somehow. And it comes out to George Armour right back. Butler, does he get the cross in? Yes, he does. Pope flicks it down and hits it off the post. How do Pope just controls it dead, just off the chest, straight onto the floor. Cracks it off the post. That is not ideal. I feel like I'm sat really low, but like, I don't know. Maybe my camera's changed position. Uh oh, it's O'Brien at the back post. And we're 1 0 down. That is just a cross that's dissected us completely. And O'Brien has powered that one home. That's not ideal. Oh, look at it come in. Oh, look at that cross, man. Ah, uh, let's keep on going. Sixty-five minutes in. I'm going to go overload. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to go overload. Sharp with the short kick out because that's what we need when we're one goal down. Cole up to Van. And Van goes long. Pope doesn't win the header. And it's going to come in between three players and Vassell will come away with it. Into Gerard, Into Vassell. And then it's cut out by Holland. That's good. But he kicks it immediately straight away. Although Pope is going to speed onto that. Can he get it into the middle? Semel is free. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bounce into Semel who hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Literally has the whole goal at his mercy. And he kicks it straight at the goalie. That is that is a Semel Ramadan thing to do. The guy is like a goal sc Oh my god, what is that? Who, who's marking him? He's at the post. We have been let off there. We have been let off. Let's let's passionately push forward. Come on, eight minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, game over. Oh, Ramadan, come on. No, R wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. That's it, that's it. Wait, what was that? What was that? Get the ball in the box. Van, what are you, what was that? Go long. Oh my God, I should have changed the tactic just to go long because this is getting ridiculous. They've wasted this whole 30 seconds. Shoot as a, oh my God. What is this team here? What is this team here doing? So there we go. For the second year in a row, Macclesfield have knocked us out of an FA competition. Drawing a loss today. It is what it is, I suppose.